Hello there. Time for a new YouTube video. It was a long search, but finally I found my perfect solution for shooting single row panoramics. And since it was such a long search, I thought I'd do a little video and show you my equipment. And we'll start right away. What I have here is a Enduro PHQ 3 tripod hat. You could have a ball hat or some other hat, that's not what is important. And if I fit my camera onto this hat, I have an outlet here from really the right stuff. Usually it goes on it like this. And then the problem is if I want to do panoramics and I turn around this axis, I get a par parallax error. That means that near and far objects are misaligned in the adjacent shots and the panorama won't stitch. With longer focal length and far objects, this might not be a problem, but if you're shooting wide, this will certainly become an issue if you try to stitch the photos. So the solution well, my first solution was, let's remove this one. Um, two years ago, I bought a Nodal Ninja. And this is it. It's the Nodal Ninja 5L, I think. And what it does, um, I would basically, I would need to remove this one, screw it up, uh, screw it off and attach this one directly to the tripod and then as you see here there's an offset and then here's an offset and the camera would go on this one and I'm just holding it now I'm not attaching it because I need to use another plate if I attach it to this I would be basically rotating around a point called a nodal point and this would give me uh, seamless stitching options because there wouldn't be parallax error. Yeah, it's a little awkward to hold it. But the important thing is that the camera isn't attached to the, rota to, uh, to the rotation axis, but a little bit behind it. And yeah, well, this piece of equipment is great. You can do mo even multi-row panoramics with it because you have a screw here and you can change the angle. But what I learned, yeah, well, most of the time the thing I want to do is just single row panoramics. And for this I don't need this whole equipment because to use it I need to remove this hat and I have to screw this on and I have to change the plate and this takes a long time and this is not ideal. So what I wanted was something to have my camera <coughs> attached to this hat in a way um, so it could rotate around the nodal point. And what I found is this little piece of equipment. It's the Kirk panoramic plate. Um, I think it's called LRP1. And I can use this one and attach it directly to the tripod hat and it has some scale on it so I can fit it exactly how I want it and let's turn this around a bit and then my camera goes into the back here there's also some scale I have to align it precisely to the middle. Okay, and now that it's attached, do you see? If I rotate this, I'm rotating around this point here, which I measured beforehand. You'll find a lot of stuff on the internet on measuring the nodal point, and this gives me a seamless panoramic shot. What's important though is that I have my tripod or this axis here 
leveled. And well, this is a little awkward because here we have an even ground, it's easy. I have some bubble levels here on the tripod, I can easily level it, but sometimes an uneven terrain, uh, this might take some time. And now, what's cool about this Enduro 5 way head is I can level it with those handles. Well, let's do this even more extreme. I can have it like this, for example, and then I can use those handles here. I'll turn it a bit. So we have one handle here and one here. I can level it. I have a bubble level up on my um, on my camera. And if I use this to level, now comes the cool thing. I have to turn this stuff. This is called a five-way head in contrast to normal three-way heads because you can level it with those two handles and then up here you have another axis and I can turn the camera around this one and have it turning around the level position and this is quite neat so I don't necessarily have to uh, level the tripod I can put it on uneven ground very fast and then level just the head and shoot panoramics using this upper rotation axis. But there's more. <coughs> if I do it like this, I get single row panoramics on the horizontal. But it's even cooler. Since I have the L plate, I can screw it on like this. And by this, I now shoot single row panoramics using the vertical shots. And I get a little more, um, yeah, few in the horizontal. I get more megapixels if I want to. And this is quite neat. And now, as I told you, I have to level this so it works. Um, yeah. Sometimes I might to want, I want to take a panoramic where I point the camera a little bit downwards, for example, like this. If I do it like this, I can't move around the upper axis. Now I need to level the tripod. So for, for this one option, I really have to get the tripod leveled using the bubble. Where is it? Ah, oh, here. Then I can level up this one and have this pointing downwards. Um, since pointing downwards shifts the nodal point a bit from the axis, I also have to move this one back. Also, I measured this beforehand so I know for which angle I need to move it. And then, again, I would rotate around this lower axis. And still I can get nice single row panoramics with the camera tilted a little bit to the ground. And I did some test shots and it worked very good. Very good. Okay, um, there's one final thing I want to show you with this equipment. And uh, turn this around a bit so you better see. Um, I'm using uh, Lee neutral density filters a lot, and what this means is I have a, a Lee filters, which are square filters. I have them attached in front of the lens, and they usually they're going from up here down here. And if I have it vertical, that's no problem, but I have the camera on this plate in horizontal position. What you see here is that this edge is exactly the edge of, of this Tamron 24 70mm lens. And what this means is 
it works well with leaf filters if the leaf filters going from up here down here they fit in front of this edge and I also have the, have tested it with the Canon 16 35 millimeter lens which is exactly the same length and it also works so what I'm saying is if you're using this curved plate with your lens and you have a shorter lens than for example this um, Tamron 24 70 or the Canon 60 35 then you will get problems with your leaf filters if you want to attach them in the horizontal position. If you're turning your camera using an L plate like I do and want to shoot the panoramics in this vertical position, that won't be an issue because here's enough space and the filters will usually stop around here and not going past this edge. So that's no problem. But I just, um, yeah, I have to tell you this. This might become an issue with shorter lenses and if you're shooting horizontal. Okay, so that's it. The whole stuff for panoramics is just this one, this Kirk panoramic plate. Else, this is just my normal shooting tripod. And from now on, I think. I'm gonna take a little more panoramics again because it's it's just an easy switch. I'm in a normal shooting position, doing normal shots, and if I think I want to do a panoramic, I just grab this plate, insert it, adjust it, turn around this one, attach my camera. And I'm ready to go. Might be some leveling, but that's okay. I hope this was interesting for some of you who might have the same questions like I had. And I'm glad I finally found this curved plate. There are other plates around. For the right stuff has a plate. Um, they have two plates. A shorter one, which might be too short and a longer one, which might be too long, depending on, as I told you, use of filters and stuff. So just for me, that's perfect equipment. Okay, bye bye.